In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase, pick your battles. We also sometimes say, choose your battles. So a battle is a big fight. Um, I think you know that when there's a war, there's a battle. But in your life as well, you might have a lot of little battles. And we say to people sometimes, you need to pick your battles. What this means is you can't be upset about everything. You can't be angry about everything. Sometimes it's important to pick your battles. It's important to decide when you are going to be upset about something and when you are just going to let it go. One of the things uh, that I've noticed as a parent is oftentimes I'm saying to my children, hey, I understand you're upset about your bedtime being so early, but you need to pick your battles. Um, this maybe isn't one of the things you want to argue with me about. There are probably more important things in life that you will need to argue with me about than your bedtime. So you need to learn to pick your battles. Um, and the other phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase half the battle. Um, when we talk about doing something big, like learning the English language, um, you would say something like, Finding time every day to study English is half the battle. So what that means is that if you can find some time to study English, you've done most of the work. That's one of the hardest parts of this. Um, another way to use it would be this. Maybe you're looking for a job and maybe you don't actually like driving around and dropping off resumes, or you might call it a CV in your language. Um, so what I would say is just getting out there and dropping off a few resumes is half the battle. So again, in English, if you have things in life that you don't enjoy, you should pick your battles. You should decide what you want to be upset about, what you want to be angry about, and what you're just gonna be a little bit more relaxed about. And then um, many times when you are doing something, um, what I would say, difficult, sometimes you just have to figure out what would half the battle be. For me, getting out of bed in the morning and going for a walk is half the battle for the day. If I can get up and get out of bed, the rest of my day goes really, really well because I've already fought half the battle. Um, I have a comment from yesterday's video. Actually, I had several comments. Yesterday's lesson was on the phrase throw in the towel and I forgot to mention that it came from the world of boxing. You know, boxing. So when a boxer decides that um, the match is over, when the, I think usually when the trainer decides, they throw in the towel. And Counter Tenor pointed out in the comments, throw in the towel comes from boxing. And I responded with the word correct. In fact, it wasn't just Counter Tenor that mentioned this. Uh, Key Park mentioned it as well. Francisco Vietnam mentioned it. Uh, and I think a couple other people did as well. So sorry about that. I forgot to mention where the phrase came from. Every English phrase has some kind of origin. Yesterday's phrase, to throw in the towel, remember means to quit or to stop doing something. Um, and it originally comes from the world of boxing. So if I was a trainer and my boxer who I trained was fighting in the ring and let's say he was uh, having trouble getting back up, I guess I would throw in the towel. I think in French you say something about l'éponge. I forget what Francisco Vietnam mentioned, but anyways. Uh, hey, you might have noticed that yesterday the video was really, really crisp and today it's just normal looking again. I was trying out a new camera but I had to return it because it wasn't quite working well. I was quite, kind of disappointed actually um, because I'm looking to upgrade my camera equipment a little bit and I bought uh, a camera, I won't say what brand I bought, um, and it didn't work as well as I wanted it to. It was actually a little bit glitchy in the corners. It would actually shake when I was making a video, so that wasn't very good. So anyways, I'm still on the lookout for a new camera. Bob the Canadian here, you're learning English with me. Hope you're having a good day.